Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've been busy working and doing lots of things, but um, I thought I would do today a really simple, just summer's day look. Um, something with a little bit of tan, but not too much. Okay, so to start, I'm going to use the Pore Professional, which is the silicon primer from Benefit. As I'm quite shiny at the moment. And this will just mattify my skin. And also, the bronze that I'm going to use is quite silicony, so it'll mean that it gives a nice smooth base for that to go on really evenly. Okay, so that's a nice smooth base. Okay, now I'm going to give myself a little bit of a tan, not too much because it's quite early in the summer and I'm very pale. So I'm going to use the bronzing base by Chanel. So the bronze used to be called Bronze Universelle, now it's bronzing base. Um, I'm going to use it with this brush, which is a Chanel brush. I like this product, I've used it in my kit for years because it seems to work for just about every skin tone, depending on how much you apply. It can be used just to um, contour and things, but I really like it just to use all over as a sort of, just takes your skin a shade or two darker. Also works well on darker skins, I found. I've used it on people like Jordan Dunn and, and girls with much darker skin, and it sort of brightens their skin as well. So it's, it's one of those mystery products that kind of works for everyone. A bit like Lingering um, MAC Eyebrow Pencil, which I find sort of works on loads and loads of different eyebrow colours as well. So it's a good one to have in your kit. Okay, so I've got some product on the brush there. Now, because I am pale, if I was darker skinned, I'd go in with it quite strong, but I'm going to take most of this off on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to start buffing. So a lot of the product goes there. And I'm going to be left with just a small amount on the brush. Because I really just want to go, because the rest of my body isn't tan, so... I can't go too dark. I'm going to be using eyeshadow, so I'm not going to use this product over my eyelids, but if I was not going to be using colour on my eyes, I would do my eyelids as well. Ears, don't forget ears, especially if you've got short hair and they're showing. And then take a little bit more from the back of my hand. And start doing my neck. So that's about as dark as I can go without having to do a full body tan on myself. And of course, if you're wearing trousers and long sleeve things, it's much easier because you're not really, don't need to match anything up. Okay, so that's my sort of base tan. Now, I don't really want to use foundation, but if you did want to use foundation here and there if you need to, what I suggest is you use your regular foundation and you mix it in with this on the back of your hand. So you create a sort of darker version of your normal foundation because you can't use your regular foundation, it just look too pale. I'm going to use concealer, I'm going to go in, with this, this is my regular concealing palette which is Laura Mercier SC3, but this time I'm going to mix my colours and I'm going to mix it in with the bronzing base that's on the back of my hand. So I've got still the coverage but it's going to be the right shade. I'm going to start to use that just in the areas where I need it. So for me, that'll be chin. I need to get a little bit more bronzing base, actually. I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger, put it on the back of my hand, mix in with my Laura Mercier. So I've got the coverage, but I've got the perfect shade now. That's great. So yeah, so for me, this is going to be the, this area around my chin. and also around my nose. For my pinpoint concealer, I'm just going to use a tiny eyeliner brush. Again, I'm going to mix in a little bit of the bronzing makeup base so I get the right colour. And you can just really experiment if you put your concealer on and it looks like it's too pale compared to your face, just add a bit more bronzing base or vice versa. Now the same can apply, whatever you choose to do your um, give your skin a glow, whether it's tinted moisturiser or something like this bronzing base I've used or a bronzing gel, you can still mix in with concealer and it still works in exactly the same way. I just find it so useful because otherwise you do have that moment when you go from being pale and you want to look a little bit more glowy and you've still got your existing winter foundation so it's a really good way of sort of bridging that gap. 
Okay, I'm going to use regular concealer under my eyes, which is, this is my favourite, as you probably noticed. I'm going to pat this in. I'm going to blend it actually with at the edges with a little bit of um, the slightly darker one, just so I don't end up looking too light under the eyes. Okay, so that's my base done and I'm a little bit healthier looking than usual. Not too much, but definitely got a bit of a glow. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is my blusher. I'm going to use this one, which um, I just bought in Sephora, which is one of the fusion brands. You know, I like the lip fusion, the plumping gloss, and they've done a really nice silicone-y um, blusher, which I'm sort of crazy about. So now that I've got sort of three layers of silicone, well, I've already got my primer on and my bronzing base. This is going to go on so well. And what I like about this blusher is just how silky and soft it is. It goes on quite natural. It sort of takes a while to build up colour. But I think if you're somebody that is a bit scared of blusher and frightened of anything that's too pigmented, these are really nice because they, they really do go on sheer. And if you're not really sure about blending, it's a great one because you, really, you don't even need to blend it. You don't get any edges at all. This is a nice colour if you're very pale. It's called Oat um, because it's it's not too strong and also it's quite pinky. So with my sort of paler skin, I think if you've already got a bit of a tan or you're darker skinned and you're making yourself look really glowy, then something that's more corally or just richer and deeper would work really well. I'm going to quickly go back with my miniature brush and just cover a little couple of marks I've got there. You can always mix in with your blusher if you want to be super pro. Okay, so on to the eyes now. I'm not, I don't really need any powder because um, I've used the mattifier and nothing has been very shiny that I've used so far. Maybe I'll use a little bit at the end. I'm going to put a tiny bit of eye primer on. This is Guerlain. So I have got a new Dior palette crush going on. They're for two of the palettes that they've got for the summer. And I think they're actually in the main range now. One's rosy tan, which is all these minky brownie shades with a beautiful rose pink. That's for slightly darker skin. So again, if you're darker or you've already got a tan. And then they've done another one, which is um, rosy nude, which again is perfect with a little bit of a tan if you're pale. This is the one I'm gonna to use today because I just think the colors are so pretty and so wearable. So I'm going to start by using the pink, the rosy pink shade in the centre of the palette. I'm going to use that with a concealer brush just to um, lay the colour down. These sorts of colours are available with most brands. So you don't need to invest in the Dior palette. Pinks and really pretty pale minks and summery golden beiges and things. It's such a pretty pink. The next I'm going to use this sort of golden brown colour which is next to the rosy pink. I'll use that with a MAC 217. Just going into the socket line right behind the rose pink. I'll blend that away in a second, just get onto the other eye. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up that brush with a tissue and start to blend. I think this look should be quite effortless and I don't want anything too tricky. Just keep it really simple. If you do need any extra blending, I always use a cotton bud. I think they're great just for taking off any edges. Same shade underneath with a little Suku brush. Just to create a wash of colour there. About two thirds of the way across. So back in with my pink, my rosy pink. Put a little bit of that into the corner. And in the bottom right hand corner of the palette, there's a really soft shimmery peach shade. I'll use that on my brow bone. And then finally in the top 
left hand corner there's a really really pale shimmery pink which I'm just going to add to the very inner corner okay now for mascara I it's been about is it six or seven weeks since my lash lift I haven't used eyelash curlers at all um, now they are starting to droop down again this eye, I'd say about 20% are still lifted, and this side, about 50% are still lifted. So we're kind of in between stage. So I think I'm going to have to just curl this eye. I want to have it done straight away again, because my eyelashes are in really good condition. I don't want to keep having it done just in case it dries them out, but I think I'll wait now until the beginning of August, and then I'll have them done before I go on holiday. Okay, I'm going to apply some Max Factor Experience Mascara. In black. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I've got this eyebrow pencil by me which is perfect brow pencil. don't really know this brand. I think it's new and it's more sort of a salon brand. It's M double I but I really like the shade reveal of this pencil. It's sort of a good brownie, lightish brownie grey colour. It is a nice colour but I don't actually like love the consistency of that pencil so Glad I tried it out today. Moving along, I think I'm just going to go back in with the bronzing base and just give a little bit of definition just around my cheekbone area, not much. And then I'm going to use from the eyeshadow palette the colours that I've used in the inner corner, the peach actually, the peach from the brow bone and the very light pink. I'm using on a fan brush and I'm going to brush that into the top of my cheekbones. mix a nice highlighter and then I think if you've invested in something quite expensive like these Dior palettes it's quite good if it's one that you can use all the eye colours and you can use it as a highlighter and it does work really well for that. So to finish off I'm going to use my nude lip pencil number seven. Just a little bit on the bottom lip and then rubbed in just to create a base for the lip gloss I'm going to use because I think if you're going to do a really nice soft summery look the last thing you want is a hard line of pencil and then to finish off I'm going to use violet cream which is this very pretty pink lip gloss by Model Zone and I like the name more than anything I love the color but I think violet I love violet cream so this is just a shimmery slightly iridescent pink gloss and I think that's it. If you wanted a bit more definition, you could use a brown eye pencil, but I'd just use it at the roots of the lashes because you don't really want to... It's quite nice to be able to see the pale pink on the top lid, so if you need more definition, use a dark, dark brown in between the lashes and smudge. You could use it underneath as well, which would just give you a bit more framing. Um, but it's quite nice to be able to see all the, the soft pinks and the peaches and the light golden browns and things. And um, yeah, and if you're going to use a tanning product of any description or something to make your skin glow a bit more, don't go too far with it. Um, just, you know, very easy does it. A little hint of a glow is normally enough. And um, yeah, so I hope you like the look and I'll see you next time.